Hey guys, it's Megan Graham, and I just wanted to do a little follow-up. So a few months ago, I did a video, and it was the best hair color for older women. I got a lot of comments on that video, and I think it really spoke to a lot of people, which made me really happy. So I feel like there were a lot of questions after I posted the video, and one thing that women were saying was that they wish that I could provide specific examples of the best hair color for older women. So here's the problem. It's really a custom thing. If I were to post four or five photos of different hair colors and say these are good for older women, well, that might just not be accurate because it really depends on you. At the salon, my general rule is that it should have some kind of connection to what your natural color was when you were four years old. Um, if you were really blonde as a four-year-old, you're probably going to look great, really blonde when you're older as well. Um, one rule that I do find to be true is that most women as they age look good with a little bit more warmth in their hair color. It's very natural for your skin to be a little bit more drab. And so the ashier that you go with your color or the cooler you go with your color, the more similar to gray hair it's going to look. And the warmer you go, the more it's gonna add a little bit of glow and a little bit of radiance to your skin. So my general rule is that, you know, if you had black hair when you were younger, you would probably look good with dark brown hair or maybe even medium brown hair, but I'm not suggesting that you be a blonde because that really has nothing to do with the original color of your hair. Um, I think that if you were blonde as a child, you would still look good with blonde in your hair. So if your hair is all white, you can always add a little bit of blonde in the form of low lights. You don't have to cover every bit of your gray hair. You don't have to pretend that you're 20 years old when you're you know, 60 years old or 50 years old or, or whatever your age is, but bringing a little bit of color into it is really pretty. Um, I think that if you were light brown, you may look better as a dark blonde or even a medium blonde. So whatever your hair color was, generally speaking, you are going to look great as your skin matures if you just subtract about two levels lighter for your hair. So basically, dark brown would look good light brown. Um, medium brown would look good dark blonde. So it's just bringing it back about two levels, um, not bringing it all the way across the color spectrum. So basically, there really is no perfect hair color that is going to work for you. It's really, it's, it's individual and it's custom. And so I try to give you some tips because I want to just start to have people understand a little bit about what would look great on them, but there, is, um, there isn't just a one size fits all. And I think for so long that you know people were trying to make it seem like for older women, for mature women, that there was just one thing that worked. They were trying to say, you know, you should have blonde hair, you should have gray hair, and it should be um, short and things like that. It's not true. There's no such thing as a one size fits all. But um, I, I find that the one rule that really works is that as we all age and as we all mature, we can use a little bit more softness because the more harsh that our look is, the, um, the more harsh that we look, the older that we look and things like that. So it's really all about finding a flattering sort of midpoint that works for us. Um, for my own hair, for example, um, I'm sure you can, if you, if you look, I'm sure you can see my roots because I'm just not crazy about doing my roots. I do them, but um, I've been really busy because my husband and I just moved into a new home, which I think you can probably see boxes behind me still. Um, but anyway, um, I think that it's finding a place where you're comfortable. If you feel like you need more custom information, you can always go to my website. I do, um, I do consults. You can reach out to me via my consult form and I'm always happy to set up a custom consult where I help you to learn what color is right for you. But just for you to have a better understanding, just know that it should be a little bit lighter. I would say never ever should your hair color be darker, um, darker than your natural color as you age. It's very, very harsh. It brings out all of your skin imperfections, your wrinkles, your age spots, any of that stuff. So my natural hair color is dark brown and I wear it, I don't even know what I would call this color. I just call it like a J-Lo color. Um, if JLo would do it, then I would do it too. 
Um, anyway, I hope that this is helpful. If you have more questions about it, please reach out. I'm also gonna be doing a video as well for some of you that have been asking me about haircuts and styling for older women. So I hope that this helps. And you know, I don't think it's only for older women either. To be totally truthful, I mean, I learned some of these tricks from modeling when I was younger, and um, basically, harsh looks are, they're just really hard to wear, they're distracting. So a little bit of softness behooves us all, whether you're 25, whether you're 45, whether you're 75, a little bit of softness is great. A little too much softness is not a good thing. So if your hair was black and you make it platinum, that probably looks harsh on you too. So it's all about finding a comfortable middle ground. I hope that this helps. Um, I always enjoy just bringing these little tidbits, things that I do every day, um, and just having a little chat. So please comment below and let me know what you think. And um, if you like the content on my uh, YouTube, I would love it if you would just hit the follow button as well. Stay healthy and beautiful, and I will be back with another video for you guys soon.